So in this video, we this is a basically the third video in this series. It's getting you know this is getting like a playlist sort of thing. So you have this. We have made this button each one in in every video. And but you you know any when you really think you've got it all figured out. So I thought we we made some progress here. Uh, we can check the, you know the balance if I click here I get the balance to my to this account but we've made a, a mistake so I have in this account I really do have 5.8 ether but when I switch to this extra account which is not connected to this website so let's connect this so it's connected now in this one I have only 0.3 ether so let's check the balance of this one and whoops again it shows I have 5.8 ether why is that so let's uh, if I click again again choose 5.8 but but obviously I have switched my account to using this one so what's happening here uh, if you if you want this to work you have to listen to the pro what is called provider events so whenever you change the, the account here, like I did before, whenever you change the account, basically this is an event, uh, provider event, and you have to listen to this in the code, and you have to react to it. You have to change the accounts. And then you will get, uh, since we have the actual account that it's selected here, then it's going to show us the correct balance. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. And also, before we start working on this uh, balance problem, we have another problem we need to solve. So I'm just going to clear these spaces. And we're here, as you can see, we are using the Ethereum window Ethereum object, but we're not really sure if this Ethereum object is available. As you may or may not know, this is only available if MetaMask is installed. And the user, as you may or may not know, can, can uh, maybe they don't have MetaMask installed. Which means what I'm going to do here is go up top and say window uh, on load. And here we're going to provide a function that's going to be triggered whenever this window loads and here we want to check if the window ethereum object is present and how do we check for this we just say if this is not equal to undefined i think this is the correct way i saw previously in the docs and now if this is not equal to undefined we, it, it means we have the window ethereum object and here what we'll do is here we'll uh, we'll handle the we'll basically listen for the provider events so what we can do is we'll first create our function and that's going to be triggered whenever this user changes their account and we're going to call this handle accounts changed and we're going to say equal to and this is going to be an arrow functions because arrow functions are really popular these days and it's going to have an account with double c not triple c accounts parameter and in the body of the function we're just going to print that account has been changed for now let's see accounts changed and here what we want to do is say ethereum or this dot ethereum dot uh, on and here we want to this on function basically you know it's listening on some event so the event is going to be accounts changed and here we want to pass the function that's going to be triggered whenever the accounts change so let's see now if we solve this problem so 
let's go ahead uh, to our website and now I have let's see which account I have opened I have opened I think this 0 0.3 account okay so let's go ahead and check balance and we didn't really solve the problem again we have 5.8 and we're getting this accounts change printed out but we didn't really solve the problem let's see how we can solve this so if we go ahead here we're getting this accounts parameter these are basically the accounts that has been changed and here we have the current account that's uh, available that's present and what we need to do whenever we're using these accounts we need to basically update them to these accounts that we're getting here so what we can do is we can provide a global variable like let accounts and here what I'm going to do is here uh, this is the the actual accounts that we have here and here instead of accounts we're going to say this to rename this to A and we're going to pass this A to our global accounts and here we 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 cannot have this hard-coded string we need to have because you know this is we're making this dynamic we need to have this accounts uh, array and we need to pass the index of zero and the index of zero basically represents the account that's present so now if we go ahead and see let's see which account I have here I have the 5.8 let's check balance so now I have this account the with 0 0.3 ether if I check the balance it shows me 0 0.3 for the first time let's see what happens if we change the account let's go to this 5.8 ether we get we're getting this account change printed out click on check balance and we actually get the exact number mm -hmm.